What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We're on day five of Onshape. So what we're going to do specifically today is we're going to look at a very helpful feature, but can be a little bit confusing to use called Loft. So what Loft allows us to do is allows us to take two profiles and marry their uh, profiles together as an extrusion, kind of. And so what we're looking at here is I started off with a smaller circle, and then we taper it outwards into a square, so you can't really taper there, but you do a loft into a different profile cross-section, and then we fin finished off with a hexagon. Now the problem of when you're trying to do this, uh, you run into some issues, like on the back side here, we see that one side of the hexagon kind of made it into the face of this uh, extrusion right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about the features, kind of what you can do, and some good tips on to where to go next. So how do we do this overall? So what we're going to click on is we're going to start from the main page, main hub. We're going to create, we're going to create a document. We're going to call this uh, day five, and this is going to be using loft. I'll try that again, loft, and we have to offset plane in order for you to, to do loft. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch. We're going to go click on the top here. And what I'm going to do for this is go to my top view. And let's do a rectangle. Set so R on my keyboard for rectangle. And that way I could do a center point rectangle. Let's just do about a three inch square. Go ahead and finish that. Click on my front right top corner of my cube. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my front and right planes disappear and we're only going to be looking at our top plane. So how do I make a sketch that's above this top plane? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on offset plane. And what this allows me to do is it creates a surface that I can interact with that is offset but parallel to this plane. You can drag up this arrow up and down on directions you want to go. Now, what you have to do is, let's try this out. What happens if I type in negative one? Will it let me do it? No. So we see the problem is, is that what if you wanna go below? So type in the distance you wanna go, and then if you wanna go below, you have to hit this little flip direction arrow, or you can drag downwards. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, let's just make that 1.5 inches away. Call that done. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my top plane right here and I'm gonna hide it because I don't wanna interact with it anymore. So I'm gonna click on sketch. We're gonna click on this plane one now. And when I click on my top view, what I'm actually doing is I'm drawing on this plane, not on this plane. That's just so we can uh, do a sketch that's above. So let's go ahead and do this. let's do a circle now. So I'm gonna Zoom in a little bit, hit C on my keyboard for circle, and let's just do a three inch circle-ish. All right, go ahead and hit click done. All right, and now we're good there. What if I want to do a third one? So let's do that. Let's right click on this plane. Let's offset plane again. We can continue our journey upwards. So let's go 1.5 inches and then click okay. So I'm going to do is create a sketch on this plane. And let's go view on my top right here. Okay. What would we like to do next? I'm going to use this inscribed polygon. And let's see if I can get away with doing a hexagon here. So if you notice, the hexagon has a uh, circle inside, saying that a circle is inscribed into... Um, our polygon here. Now by default it shows up as a hexagon, but when I click once on my approximate size, you can also change the number of sides you have by moving the mouse inwards, would be lowering the number, or you can move it outwards and I'll be increasing the number of sides you have. What I'm gonna do for this one is I'm just gonna do a hexagon and then we're gonna call that done. So click green check mark. So here's what I have so far. I have a square. Let's see if we can hide all planes. There we go. I have a square, a circle, and then a hexagon. So and then I click on loft here. 
we're going to now select our profiles that we want to change or that we want to marry up and loft to each other. So I'm going to click on the square, click on that circle. It's going to take a second to think. The more complicated geometry, the longer it's going to take to think. And then we're also clicking on that outside piece right here. Now I'm going to show you where some things can go wrong in using loft. What some people are going to do is they're accidentally going to click the very center. And what you're going to do there is you're going to loft the center of that sketch to the outside. And if you click on an actual vertice, you can get something looking really funky using the same three shapes. So what did I do overall to make that work? So I want to loft, but I want to loft the outside edges together. You can, you can loft vertices, you can loft single points. It's kind of even what you're looking for in your part but that way you can do some complicated 3D geometry if you know what those cross sections look like. Okay, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We looked at Loft and some of the features in Loft. And you can continue down the road and hopefully look at some of the most more complex features after we get used to some of the basics and Onshape. All right, guys, that'll be it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will catch you on the next video.